The Office for National Statistics retail figures for February have just been announced, and it's some positive news. Retail sales volumes grew by 1.2% last month, building on a growth of just under 1% in January. Retail expert Jeremy Baker is here with us now to go through the figures. Good morning to you, Jeremy. So this is positive Hello. news this morning, isn't it? I mean, we're, we're heading in the right direction, which is up. Yes, we, things are getting better, slightly better, and some of the figures are slightly down, but generally things are getting better. People like shopping, they like possessions, they like dressing up. And, you know, the whole retail thing really fits in with the consumer psychology. The difficulty for retail is it's in the front line of the anti-inflation. And so the, the government of the Bank of England takes away consumer money and... Uh, in, in, with, the with the interest rates, takes away the consumer spending power, and that impacts the industry, the retail industry, makes their life incredibly difficult. And it's interesting to see how they respond. Some are responding absolutely brilliantly, like ours again, Lidl, by really simplifying retail, simplifying things, uh, cutting prices the whole time. Primark, absolutely wonderful, booming like mad. Um, other people are kind of thinking, well, if retail is so difficult, maybe we should be doing something else. And that's the interesting idea from uh, John Lewis' partnership. Uh, she says, uh, Sharon Wright, the head, says that maybe they should think of going into something else as well, which would be renting out property. So you'd go to John Lewis for food, for clothes, and also maybe renting a, a, a flat. And uh, the difficulty there is everyone has been attacking her. You know, don't touch John Lewis partnership, the model. It goes back to when? Is it Shakespeare's time? I, I can't remember. It's part of Britain's history. You can't do anything with it. And, uh, and so just leave it alone. It's brilliant. Um, unfortunately, retail is under attack. It is difficult. It must constantly reinvent itself. And that's what Sharon White of John Lewis is trying to do yeah. uh, and getting really attacked on all sides for her pains. I am intrigued by this, um, Jeremy, in, in the sense that when I was saying, oh, it's good news, 1.2% increase in retail sales. But, I mean, yes, good news for retailers, but it's not necessarily good news for the economy, is it? Because, you, as you said, the whole reason that the, the, you know, the Bank of Interest raised the base rate yesterday is to try to stop us spending more money in this sector yes. because that's driving inflation. Yes, yes. I, I thought before I looked into it, the government of the Bank of England was really crafty in trying to cut prices. For example, getting more foreign workers coming into the fields and pick crops so that we had more crop, we more food and prices would go down. He doesn't. All he's doing is going like tomorrow morning, Saturday, standing outside a uh, shopping mall and saying, do not go in there, <laughs> keep, keep away, uh, you're not supposed to shop, I don't want you to shop. Uh, that, that, that's his whole policy can be summarised as an attack on shopping. And it's not very nice if you're in the industry, and I personally don't think it's a very clever way to run the economy. But, um, you know, that's, that, they're the bigger people in the eco economic system than retail, so that's the way things go. Jeremy, we're talking a lot at the moment about food inflation as well. I mean, some items like oil and pasta, they're up 60 percent, sometimes even more. Uh, but food store sales volumes rose by 0.9 percent in February 2023. That's very interesting, isn't it? That's a, despite this high inflation in food, we're buying more of it. Uh, yes. Well, uh, you know, Christmas is a time of letting go and then... Uh, you know, it's sort of come back after Christmas. You try to economise, but I don't. I don't find that you do actually. You uh, you just carry on spending and enjoying. Um, can, the thing about retail is, on the negative side, you got the Governor of Bank of England saying, "Stop buying, just go away from the shops." At the same time, the consumer is thinking, "Wow, I love this! Is these biscuits are absolutely delicious? This this shirt is wonderful. I must get get another one." Um, so the con 
consumer psychology is pushing more, 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 buy, buy, buy. And the governor is saying, no, stop, stop, stop. And it's a kind of battle between these two forces. And in February, uh, the good, in my opinion, anyway, the good people had a little bit of a, a moment when they pushed things forward. Mm. Uh, look, really interesting to talk to you, Jeremy. Thanks very much indeed. Really appreciate it.